get scared. It took. I remember getting on and then getting off. No way in between. Um, when I'm really proud of a performance, like how it went, how the crowd, you know, reacted to it, it makes me feel confident in myself. And I think I'm getting to the point now where I'm like, people, so many people have told me, you're so, so good at performing, and I never believed it until one gig where I felt so good about myself and I didn't feel like the everyday struggle of myself, like self-loathing and stuff like that, like that night was, there was no, there was no voice in the back of my head saying like, oh, you, you suck, blah, blah, blah. It was just like, oh yeah, I'm good at what I do. I'm like, yeah, the crowd's good, like throwing at it. I'm like, oh cool, and I'm like, okay, cool. Like a little kid with like candy in the pan. I'm like, oh my God, yeah, that's so cool. My name is Anastasia and I am static. I am a producer, songwriter and rapper. I started songwriting when I was probably around 10. I remember the first lyrics I wrote, I feel so cold, so dark. But um, it was the way I was expressing the moment of time people I know it's selfish but I was just like I want to know how to do it never made a beat in my life when I came to university didn't even know nothing didn't know what plugins were didn't even know what I didn't even know what an actual microphone looked like like a studio microphone until I walked into the doors I started a guitar when I was 12 my mum bought my first acoustic guitar it's been my hobby but now I want to do it everyday life it's it, there's no risk so for me it's always been like motivational like through my experiences in life i feel frustrated and i write a song of, not about it but my frustration so for me it's always been what i experience what i feel and what i've learned i got me raise the tissue i'll be careful with you i'm gonna raise this picture till they stick with stick the stitch you and trust me no one miss you or give a thought about you because you try to turn my face your tissue into the sixes issue like i want to be a role model to young girls like me i don't dress as a girl i just look very tomboyish um, short hair <laughs> i don't look like a girl and people are mistaking me as a guy and I just feel that if I'm being myself, that would give someone like behind a screen or like on stage if they see me or on stage, they go, oh, okay, cool. I'm not a freak and I can dress the way I want to dress and I can be who I want to be and that's okay. Like, you know, I represent, you know, like domestic violence victims because I've been a victim myself and I represent the LGBT community is not embracing one another it's it's like, it's like a game as females i've seen so many feeling females bag one another that we need to be uplifting one another there's so many of us behind the curtains just waiting music's a very male dominated industry um and i think that's half of its problem because there's so many dope like some of the females are like awesome at their craft, way better than the males, way better than me. Like, hands down. And I think we should be embracing it, not opening the, the closet and then closing it quickly. Because I feel like that's really unfair. I wonder if anyone cares if I'm dead or alive Friends of us, old oh, old, what a wonderful life I scratch out my skin just to get a taste of it Lines blur together like the veins within my arms Oh god, I don't even know how to start <laughs> uh, Going through a lot in my life um, Before I was born, my dad hurt my mum physically mentally and emotionally um, and when I was born and all through my childhood and 
my early teens, I've experienced domestic violence by watching it and experiencing it. There was a lot of mental and emotional abuse. Very toxic, very, very toxic. Um, but I remember when I was probably 10 where I wrote my first song, I'm So Cold, is when my, my parents were fighting, as you would think, like any parent would. Uh, but this fighting was like, something's gonna happen. And my, I said to my mom, you need to, you need to get out. That's it. If you don't get out, like when I'm 18, I'm leaving. Like this is not good, mom. And she, she said to me, enough's enough. We got an AVO and all that business. And then we moved, and because my mom lost her job due to other drama um, that wasn't our fault, uh, we became homeless. So from there, we were living in our car for two nights and two days, and we got assistance from our launch housing. But I remember my mom always finding a way to feed me she was she's like the most strongest person i've ever known well they've just activated the emergency okay. system I'm at Chester. you have to leave kid no. you have to she, she's amazing <laughs> he's gone <laughs> someone writes in a journal like about how they felt for the day or what they did for the day for me that's what it is so if I feel something or if something's bugging me I straight away start writing or I'll start making a bit of that feeling so for me it's just like okay if I don't want to talk about it I'll definitely write it as music <laughs> 